Could be hotter. Oh, comes through at the end. It's, it'll be all right. Sixty seconds left. Time's up. Stop. Oh, is that a Scotch egg? That's what I just said. Not quite. Is it haggis? No, it's duck. That's a duck. No battered duck. Mm. Oh, they're really good for you. <laughs> Mechanical engineer David has served his sous vide duck breast and duck liver with a duck and potato bonbon, girolles, spinach puree, and an orange sauce. Duck's cooked really well, well seasoned. Love the spinach, love the sweetness and, and the sharpness of the orange sauce. My only complaint, I've only got my minuscule little complaint, maybe a little bit of seasoning in your bonbon. That is a really well done, accomplished dish, and I find it absolutely delicious. Everything is cooked really, really well, but I really dislike that orange sauce on the side. I don't know anybody who would like spinach and orange together, except for my learned friend. I'm going to carry on eating, just from a professional point of view, you understand? Overall, I think I've done slightly better than I thought after I'd plated it up. So, uh, yeah, overall, I'm happy. 44-year-old Paul's calling card is ballotine of chicken stuffed with mushroom and tarragon and wrapped in parma ham, served with crispy chicken skin, a potato stack, leeks, and a porcini mushroom sauce. Mmm. Well. The meat inside the parma ham is moist and soft. The parma ham is crispy. The crispy skin is delicious. There's a couple of little issues. The sauce is slightly too sharp. A uh, little too much garlic in those potatoes. Apart from that, your touch is superb. I agree with Greg, there's a little bit too much garlic in it. But I'm being picky because it looks so good. Around the plate, there's things going on here which I really, really like. The crispy skin, the crispy ham around the outside, the little leeks all buttery and soft. The plate is shiny clean and polished. You may now understand, I like it. <laughs> I feel great. A uh, huge sense of relief now that it's over, but um, I got great feedback. Social media expert Laura has made a salted caramel beetroot tart tartin with a pickled beetroot and cucumber salad, goat's cheese mousse and beetroot jelly. It's like a little Alice in Wonderland thing, isn't it? Yes. Very pretty and it smells good. Oh, well that's good. The sticky sweetness of this is wonderful, and it's the natural sweetness of the beetroot, and it's earthy, and then you've got that goat's cheese as well, which is giving it a bit of salty tang. You've got a bit of freshness across the top with just sliced raw vegetables. I think that's an absolute delight. I'm a 50-50 on this. Ah, uh -huh, I thought you might be. <laughs> the salted caramel, for me, is just a little bit too much. All the sugar with those onions, and then that pastry is becoming a bit sweet. You've got a great idea. Mm -hmm. I think it needs less sugar. Okay. But that's me. Okay. Well done from this end of the bench. Oh no, well, well done. It's just not quite, not quite for me. Okay. I divided them, and I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but they did both like it to an extent, and it was interesting, so we'll see.